What you are witnessing right now is LK99, a superconductor levitating at room temperature. And this is a big deal because this could lead to levitating trains, flying cars, quantum computing, levels above the current computer capabilities, as well as upgrades to medical MRI technology, the list goes on. Now let's go ahead and explain what exactly are superconductors so you can understand the background. Now here's a simple definition explaining the difference between conductors versus superconductors. So pretend you are running down the streets and it's quite bumpy, there's a lot of rocks, potholes, and essentially what happens is you gain a lot of friction when you're running down, aka you'll lose some energy. Now imagine a road, super smooth, perfectly like ice, no bumps at all. And now you can actually go ahead and run as fast as possible without losing any speed or getting tired. And essentially that's because the ice has no resistance to slow you down. This is essentially the difference between a conductor and a superconductor. The regular conductors are like the bumpy road sidewalk which has electricity to fight a little bit of resistance as it flows through. But in superconductors, the road, aka super smooth, resistance magically disappears and this has to be at very cold temperatures. And essentially it zips through with zero bumps or loss of energy. So in short, superconductors have much better electricity flow but they do require them to be used at extremely cold temperatures. So here are just some examples of potential life-changing technology upgrades that we could make with a superconductor at room temperature. One would be much more efficient electrical transmission. Next, more powerful smaller devices such as computer components. So imagine your phone, your laptop, any sort of technical device you have being upgraded to unfathomable levels. Next, levitating trains. Superconductors typically levitate above magnetic rails. This could result in room temperature superconductors that could let trains flow with no friction, that could reach speeds significantly faster than what we currently have, even at the fastest trains that are currently built today. Next could be ultra strong electromagnets. In addition, lossless power storage. So superconducting coils could store electricity indefinitely with no dissipation, completely changing the game for batteries renewables and the grid, AKA pretty much imagine being able to utilize your phone for significantly longer than you currently use it or a simple watch or literally having anything in current battery storage upgraded levels above where it's at. In addition, healthcare, MRI improvements, major things, it could transform lives of many people. Now here's one of the papers that was published that got the hype circling around this new LK99 superconductor. In addition, there is another paper, which you can see here, that was also published as well. However, there's a lot of skepticism from experts regarding these papers and the information due to multiple reasons. So here, according to The Verge, the first was that there were inconsistencies in the data. They state here the two preprints disagree with each other. There's reportedly also conflict between the authors, which they state here there are three authors' names on one paper and six on the other. In addition, they state that the preprints with fewer authors have many defects, and an author of the other paper has told New Scientists. Another major thing was they apparently one of the researchers stated that it was uploaded to RXIV without his permission, and the other authors of the paper now responds when The Verge has reached out. Now, quick thoughts on this. One is I can't comment on the behind the scenes on the data or regarding their paper research on the accuracy or not. However, if you are a scientist or researcher discovering a literal life-changing technology upgrade would you want to be known as that person, potentially being the next Albert Einstein or whoever you want to be known as? Definitely, I would see that could be conflicting, especially if you have team members and other people on your team trying to take credit. And what's actually kind of interesting was back 
a few years ago, another scientist supposedly stated that he found a superconductor that works at room temperature. So here is the person that apparently stated they have found a superconductor known as Ranga Diaz, a physicist from University of Rochester. It essentially stated that he discovered a material that conducts electricity without resistance at both room temperature and ambient pressure. Now, this was actually back in 2020 in a report in Nature that he claims that he makes carbon, sulfur, and hydrogen and superconducts at 250K, which is minus 20 degrees Celsius. And when squeezed under pressures approaching those at the center of Earth. Now, there were some things regarding this that did not make his claims accurate. So apparently, one of the things was the paper was retracted last year by Nature over objections of all the authors. And Diaz has faced further heat over accusations that he plagiarized material in his PhD thesis. So there's some drama debate regarding this person's findings. But now looking at the current information that we see right now, let's see if LK99 is even legit or not. Now here is a video from a Chinese social media website that's supposedly showcasing a replication of the LK99. Now, from this current still image, we can see this is a toothpick. So just for comparison, the size of this particle is literally super, super tiny. So as of right now, this was posted on August 1st. And you can see this video has quite a lot of views as well as shares, etc. Now, I'm going to go ahead and play with it and showcase what exactly is going on. But in short summary, this person is pointing at the little particle and then he gets a magnet and basically will showcase himself utilizing it to actually move this object. So I'll have to go ahead and skip into the video. So we can see here he has a little magnet and essentially the video was translated. Now, again, for people who can speak. And understand the language definitely can confirm the accuracy and legitimacy of this but just from the visuals from the video we can see there are some slight movements and i think at the middle we can see here right about there this is where supposedly this showcases the levitation effect similar to that one we saw in the introduction of this video however this is obviously a super tiny particle now in case you are not familiar with, let me show you a regular superconductor in typical ways that it's supposed to work. So here is showcasing a regular superconductor. This is a video from 12 years ago in liquid nitrogen levitating. How obviously we can see that the bottom is extremely cold and that's why that is a big deal. Going back to the beginning video at room temperature, now you can see the major difference in the breakthrough on why Everybody's going crazy over this. So as of right now, at least today, I haven't seen any new information regarding whether or not they were able to successfully replicate this around the world from other researchers and scientists, but maybe we might see some updates in the next few days or weeks. But for now, this is just a thought, life-changing potential technology at hand. What do you think? Is this real? Is this hype? Let me know in the comments below.